Hey guys, be likes to watch here. As you can see, I've got a another one of them old slide action 22 gallery guns. This one is a Remington Model 12. And uh, it's missing a few parts. It's causing it to malfunction. First of all, let me just see if I'm getting this in frame here. Let me just do this right. As you can see here, missing a screw right here in the slide. It's actually missing both of them. Somewhere along the line, somebody stuck this old screw in here, and it really doesn't do a very good job. But the problem is, screw's way too long, shaped funny. And then the other thing that it's missing is, and this is hard to do by yourself, right in here, the top of the, hmm, where the mag tube comes through, there's a little piece of, there's a, a bullet guide, I guess it's called, that goes in there. Well, I suspect that at some time in its life, maybe when these screws were lost, that guide was lost also. So, hang on just a second and I'll, show, I'll see if I can't show you what's, what the problem is here. Okay, now I've loaded two rounds into this rifle, into the mag tip, into the mag magazine and let me get this over here and if you can see right there right there you can see the bullet well it comes up because this part is missing and therefore you can't you can't uh, pump the slide it jams up right there and so there's a website called Wisner's, let's see, Wisner Incorporated, and they've got some great drawings of some of these old rifles, and they manufacture parts for them. Well, here I have that bullet guide. Let me unzoom this just a little bit. Oh, wrong way. So here we got the bullet guide and two new screws. Well. I'm not going to do this on camera because, well, it never seems to work out too well for me. But let me put these parts in, see how they fit, and uh, I'll get right back with you. Remember, two bullets in there. Let me get them both out. All right. This, by the way, is the only <laughs> firearm that I've ever had <clears throat> an accident with. Years ago... We had it out at my dad's. This one also belongs to my father. And uh, we were out on the back deck shooting down into the old creek bed. And had, oh, dad's got three or four 22s out there. And dad and I and a couple of uh, my nephews and nieces were all out there. And dad brought this one out and handed it to me. And I put a few rounds in it. And obviously it wasn't working very well and so I said you know there's something wrong with this gun and dad said yeah he said I, I was afraid of that so I emptied it and unlike today didn't count how many rounds I put in it just you know loaded it till it was full and when I thought it was empty I rolled it over and slammed the slide four or five times and checked looking inside the inside the uh, chamber here for no ammo and it was clean it was empty and I just tipped it straight up in the air and pulled the trigger and shot a hole right in dad's metal roof over his deck And everybody was kind of shooting, and nobody even really knew what happened. And Dad turned around and looked at me like, did you just shoot? And I leaned back and looked at that hole. And Dad said, by God, he said, just take that so much up to the shop and cut it in half. And I said, no, no, it's, it's too pretty of an old rifle to do that to. So 
here it is and I've got these parts and who knows we might make turn this into a shooter it'd be fun if it is hey guys be likes to watch here <laughs> go ahead just no make yourself at home guys I'm at a public range since I lost mine and I got the old Remington here and I think it's gonna work was 20 feet away that's how bad the house was from then on out she didn't get try on test anything There we go. You like it? I like it. Uh, they're in this bag over here. So anyway, she shoots. How's that for a hundred year old gun, huh? Hey guys, this is a little bit of an afterthought. <clears throat> you know, I was working on this gun and I said I wasn't going to do it on camera because mm, just, that just never seems to work out too well for me this little bullet guide that I put in I had to hone it down about four one thousandths to uh, to get it in I used a piece of uh, thousand grit sandpaper laid it down on a cloth and oiled it down just rubbed it and honed it and finally got it in there it wouldn't fit in the gun um, it's still a little bit tight in the action and I may have to may have to go ahead and take it out and hone it down a little bit more um, but it works and as you see just before this you notice that hmm, it looks like it's keyhole a little bit I'm gonna have to check into that it may just be one of them hang on the wall kind of guns it may have used up its life but the other thing I like to say is point it fixer you rock man your t-shirt rocks your channel rocks and you rock you demand um, and for everybody that has to shoot at public ranges, that was, I guess, the first video I've ever had to do when there were strangers around. They were, they were trying to be very polite, you know, when I turned the camera on, the guy said, you're going to make a video? And I said, yeah, I said, I've got a YouTube channel, and I said, I need to show this gun being shot. And they were standing over there and kind of like looking at their gun, looking down range, looking at me. I said, go ahead, shoot. So... It's hard. I'm really, really spoiled, um, having had my little private range for so long. And anyway, keep it up, even if you have to work hard at it, and everybody be safe.